Hi, everybody. Welcome back to week three on argumentative writing in the MOOC, helping history teachers, part, uh, helping history teachers become writing teachers. Uh, before I get into what we're going to do in week three, I want to give a little wrap up for week one. Uh, I'm sorry, wrap up for week two and uh, remind everybody that this is an ungraded class. The actual grades that you get on the quizzes do not count. All that matters is that you complete them and participate in all of the discussion forums in order to earn your completion certificate. Also, even though the courses or the modules are arranged into weekly modules, you do not need to complete everything during that week. All of the required elements need to be completed by February 22nd. Then on Monday, February 23rd, the last module complaining the, uh, containing the completion certificates will open. So if you started the course late, don't panic. There's still plenty of time to get through everything. So I do want to talk briefly about the quizzes from last week. Again, don't be afraid. These are only to measure your understanding on the featured reading. Uh, many of the teachers in my previous MOOC complained they wanted to measure their understanding. Um, what I'm noticing from this is that you're only using 13 minutes of, on average to complete the quiz. So if we spend a little bit more time on the quiz, you may actually find that your results uh, get a little bit better. You have a total of 30 minutes on the quiz. You can use the reading to help you. So uh, there are no shout outs or brownie points this week, but I do want to say I love the discussions on the robo graders and I thought that everybody was able to articulate his or her opinions professionally and with great courtesy regardless of how passionate someone was pro or con on the issue there were no petty attacks or petty bickering and I guess that's the difference between teaching high school students and teaching uh, teachers online uh, the grown-ups actually act like grown-ups thank you very much uh, and Next, I want to talk about participations. I'm noticing a little participation fatigue between week one and week two. Week one had an average of 47 participations per day and 798 page views per day. During week two, this dropped to 29 participations per day and 522 page views per day. Both weeks have had the lowest activity on Saturdays. It's almost like you teachers think you deserve a day off from learning. I just don't get it. Uh, so try and keep up. Try and participate a little bit every day. The course is designed for that. Again, I'd like to argue against the binge viewing because I think the more you reflect on this material, the more thoughtful your discussion posts are. So consider that. And the modules are actually made so that, you know, you can watch a video on your coffee break or read a quick article on your lunch break. They're designed for teachers to do in their spare time. It's not like this is a graduate level class and I'm expecting you to sit in a lecture for three hours. So uh, keep that in mind. No binge viewing. Um, a little bit of participation every day will help the course completion rates. Now, as we venture into argumentative writing this week, Module 3, uh, I'm going to share a current assignment that my 9th and 10th graders have been assigned on the blog. I welcome your comments and feedback. It's an argumentative task. Feel free to make a copy of the assignment and modify it for use with your students. Um, but in raw numbers, in raw terms, this week we have four readings, a quiz on the featured reading, three resources, three pages of videos, and three discussions. Um, I gave you my lecture on binge viewing, so I won't do that again. I do want to say thank you very much for your participation. I'm enjoying the course. Uh, I will share on the blog that we have 423 students. Uh, 20 of us are registered on Twitter. You can use the hashtag HIST RW to share resources with these other MOOC participants. Consider following your classmates on Twitter. A lot of great ideas are shared during the SS chat, teach writing chat, and WAP chat, world history AP chat, uh, and also social studies teach like a pirate. So 
Thank you very much for participating. I'm very pleased with the amount of engagement I'm getting in the course. I hope you're engaging it and uh, engaging in it, and I look forward to seeing you in the discussion boards.